Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh, and today I am showing you slash demonstrating some stuff with World Edit because there aren't any good videos out there. So I'm showing you how to World Edit the servers that you're on. Well, actually, you have to be an admin to World Edit or they have to give you the rights. Most servers will have to give you the rights, that's what I mean. So let's start off, and I'm just going to show you for this first video how to create mountains like those. So what we're going to need is two tools. I'm going to use a diamond pickaxe and a diamond spade or sh shovel, two, same things. You type in dash dash brush. So, Oh wait, let me first just tell you what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using two different... We're going to be using two different um tools in World Edit. These things are annoying. So we're going to be using two different tools for World Edit. We're going to be using the sphere tool and the brush tool. So let's bound the sphere tool to this tool. So we're just going to go brush, sphere. So the sphere is the shape that we want. Then we're going to type the type of grass that we want, or I'm your type of block rate we want. So I'm going to use grass. And then the radius, I usually use it as six. So there we go. Everywhere we click, a six radius or 12 diameter block will appear every where you right click with your brush. That is one of the problems you got to make sure you don't do. All right, so we're now going to bound the smoothing tool to our diamond pickaxe. We're going to dash dash brush smooth radius six again. There we go. Now what you want to do to create these mountains is get that next to one mountain usually. We're just going to start placing a lot of spheres around it. It would be easier if you had brush to fly mod. So Can place these everywhere next to one mountain because that's going to be our reference so that we can make that look like that. Sorry, the server's a little laggy right now because there's a lot of people on and they're being respectful, so thanks to them. All right, so once you think you have a good amount placed, you can start taking your smooth tool and we're just going to right click, start smoothing these out. So let's get up by the mountains. This is what the mountain's for, so that we can take it near the mountain and know what the original mountain looks like so we can smooth it to that. So we're just going to get down. You can use different radius smooth tools, but this is the best one. I prefer six when we're just creating big things. But when we're creating like in small areas trying to smooth it, use a smaller radius, like three or something. So, as you can see, it's starting to look more and more like a mountain. Less spherical, if you know what I mean. So if we go over here, let's pretend that you didn't see that last five minutes, and tell me in the comments below, you don't have to, I'm just joking, but does that not look like that was natural? It looks natural. So you can just continue on by doing that, just place spheres everywhere. I really enclosed myself to an eye. So just place spheres everywhere and smooth it out. So very simple. I'm going to show you a really good example of this sphere tool that I did at our spawn for our new server. So we just restarted our server with a new world, so I whitelisted it for a couple days. I just set up a new spawn, and it looks pretty amazing. I made a lot of mountains in closing it, so let's just go to the spawn. So let's wait for our render to view. You can see there, this looks pretty natural. 
Sorry, it's taking a little while to render. Alright, so... As you can see, these mountains look very natural in my opinion. I think this just looks amazing. That bro town doesn't look that good. No, it looks fine. It, well, W is just too big. Never mind. Uh, yeah, this looks natural, and that's what I did. It took about an hour to make, an hour and a half, and that's all. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Bye.